thing that I managed to fit in while I was down in London was a visit to a place that I've been wanting to go for quite a long time actually um, and the couple of times I've been down before now I just haven't managed to fit it in. Um, so I really really wanted to visit um, Deliciously Ella's restaurant which is Plants by D.E. Anyone who's familiar with this channel might know that I've done a review on one of her cookbooks before which is a book that I, I do like um, actually. I said in there that it's one of those books that would be really good for sort of dinner parties, entertaining, that kind of thing, because it's that that kind of standard of food that's included in the book. Um, so I was really, really curious to see um, what her restaurant would be like. So of course it is a plant-based restaurant um, in the area of Mayfair. So one day I just decided decided that I would go and my sister came with me which I thought would be also a really good um a good way to get like a second opinion as well for somebody who isn't necessarily having plant-based food on a regular basis and somebody who also isn't necessarily familiar with um the deliciously Ella recipes and things so I thought that would be actually be good to get her perspective as well so um <clears throat> one thing I should say is that when we went over there I made the mistake of um basically what I did was I put in to google to look up the restaurant where it was I put in the name of the restaurant um or I think I put in deliciously at the restaurant and then it came up with a name so on there it came up with the address and that kind of thing um, so the mistake I made was putting that into Google Maps. So in Google Maps, I put in deliciously Ella. Um, <laughs> but what that actually did was took me to her business address. So um, I'd gotten off the tube at Bond Street and from Google Maps, it said it was a 15 minute walk to what said on Google Maps was deliciously Ella. So when I got there, I was wandering up and down <clears throat> a street called Poland Street. Um, looking for this address couldn't see it and I thought it was really weird that I couldn't spot the restaurant I thought maybe it didn't survive through Covid that kind of thing checked up on Instagram no it was still there checked up on Google said no it's still there until I finally realized that that was taking me to the deliciously Ella business address which was basically just like a sort of like an apartment building and it just had the buzzers to to the different sort of business addresses so big mistake so then I finally put in the correct address and found out that it was actually only a four minute walk from the station that I'd got off at so um never mind got to have a little walk up Oxford Street and that kind of thing um so finally ended up back at the restaurant when we got there um one thing I would say the interiors in there is really really nice um it's really nicely done it's not um it's not like too glam but it's just really really nicely put together it's really thought out um the incorporation of sort of like house plants hanging around and things like that I thought was a really nice was a really nice touch considering the name of name of the place is plants um I didn't realize as well when we got there that a lot of people were booking in advance um so when we got there the place was fully booked um but they managed to squeeze us in on like a 45 minute gap that they had in between booking. So that was really nice of them. Um, so I would say the service there is excellent. The staff are really, really nice. All of the staff that we um, spoke to on the day were just so helpful, so nice, really, really pleasant. So I would definitely give them a huge thumbs up for their for their service. It was really, really good. Um, in the end, actually, the way they they managed to fit in is that we actually ended up being able to stay longer than 45 minutes because other just tables didn't stay as long um, as their allocated slot so we didn't actually have to move so we got to fully enjoy the meal. Uh, what we did because we looked at the menu and we wanted to try a few different things um, we ordered things to share between us so we ordered one starter and two meals so we ordered um, a starter that was like an aubergine with a um, like a curry sauce kind of thing on it and um, I think it was like crusted nuts or something on top it was 
amazing absolutely amazing it was just like a small small starter but full of flavor and then between us we shared a risotto and we shared a uh, mac and cheese now again both of them were exceptional um i do generally like risotto so that's not that's not surprising but i am to a lot of people's surprise i am not a fan of mac and cheese generally um it's not something that i would go for it's not something that i would be attracted to ordering on the menu um but the that mac and cheese was something else it was it was phenomenal um and that's coming from somebody who is not a mac and cheese lover i'm really not a mac and cheese lover at all so yeah that definitely changed my perspective on that um and then again we ordered um two desserts to share between us so we ordered a chocolate torte um and we ordered a um a chocolate babka i think it was um the babka was probably my favorite it was it was amazing actually um it was just one of those things that is it's just moorish you could just honestly keep going with that it was just really really nice um it was flavorful but not too rich it wasn't too heavy although it was a decent portion it was just absolutely amazing um so in general my review of the place in all is that i would highly recommend anybody who's in the area to go and go and try it out uh, my sister also felt that it was amazing like i said for somebody who is not neither of us are we have plant-based diet so for anybody who is going out to eat maybe you're in that area and you have a plant-based diet and you would like and you have other people that you're eating out with who are not on the plant-based diet um then i think that this place is a really good option um to kind of suit everybody so yeah, like I said, food is definitely, I would honestly, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Um, and I'm fussy when it comes to eating out, I have to say. Um, and again, the customer service and the um, the staff there, 10 out of 10. It was amazing. The atmosphere, the decor, everything was just absolutely perfect. Um, and it was actually, like I said, it was only a four minute walk from Bond Street Station. So if you are in London and you're getting the tube, then... Um, just get off at Bond Street and it's really easy to get to from there so again access links are really good um, the other thing that I would say is that um, I just mentioned there that I'm a really fussy eater um, I'm fussy because one flavor but two um, I'm somebody who can um, I can suffer a little bit if I eat food that's maybe um, you know not good quality ingredients or is made with lots of oil or you know there's just different factors that can trigger me in the sense of like bloating and what i would call like a hangover the next day i call it a hangover although like a real hanger an alcohol hangover i have had very few in my life so um I would compare it to that that kind of feeling um, is the result that I get after eating certain types of food um, and that that feeling can last for a few days afterwards so I am really conscious about what I eat when I, if I eat out um, and where I would eat so there's very few places that I would actually go to um, but I felt kind of comfortable going there because of a, what I spoke about in the book review was that she is known for somebody whose food is designed to to not leave you feeling bad it's designed with those kind of things in mind because she is somebody who has um you know used food for healing purposes um and you can really see that in 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 the food that's served in the restaurant um because you often find especially people who <clears throat> start off with one kind of ethos and um, they become you know well known or they become successful you can see for some people um, the standards do drop after they get that success um, and I would say from from her from her products from her now having tried her restaurant um, she's definitely doesn't fall into that category she strikes me as somebody who has kind of um, you know, upheld her principles and um, who really does believe in believe in good food and the power of good food um, on your health. So, yeah, I would highly recommend that restaurant. 
price wise it was also i feel really reasonable it was restaurant prices because it is restaurant it is restaurant food um so the prices do kind of reflect that but for the location and for the quality of food i don't think the price was unreasonable um, and the other thing is at the end of your meal you get like a little packet i don't know if it's always um the same thing but we got a little packet of the chocolate coated almonds at the end of the meal um as sort of like a a complimentary so that was nice i don't like i said i don't know if it's always the nuts that you get at the end but that's what we got on that day so yeah that's my little review i thought i would slot it into this video because i know that a lot of people were interested when i reviewed the cookbook before so um yeah, that's my opinion on the Deliciously Ella restaurants, or shall I say, Plants by DE.